Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to connect your AirPods Pro to your PC running Windows 10 or Windows 11 or newer version of Windows. It will also work on older version of Windows. Doesn't matter what kind of PC you have, whether you have a Lenovo, Dell, Samsung, Toshobia, whatever the brand is, it doesn't matter as long as you're running one of the versions of Windows, this will work. Also, we'll explain after we connect some of the features that will not be available on your AirPods because AirPods are meant to run on Apple devices, so some of the features that you get on Apple devices are not going to be supported, but you'll get some of the basic features of any headphones, wireless headphones that you would get through the AirPods Pro here. So first thing you want to do on your PC here, go into your start menu and then locate or find the settings app. So you can type it in and look for it or you can browse around and find the settings app. Once you open up the settings app, what will happen is you'll get a window pop up like this. And now the thing that we're really looking for here, it's going to be Bluetooth or devices. So you're going to look for something like that or search it up here. Look for devices or something that indicates Bluetooth. So once you find that, you want to go ahead and open that menu up. Once you open that menu up, you want to make sure that Bluetooth is on here. As you can see, blue indicates on. If it was grayed out, it would be turned off. So we want the Bluetooth to be on on our PC. Once it's turned on, we want to go ahead and pop open the lid of our AirPods Pro here and then click on add Bluetooth or other device. So we want to go ahead and click on that. Once we click on that, we'll get another menu here where it allows us to select what kind of device we want to add. So we want to click on Bluetooth here. Now, once we do that, the PC will start looking for any devices that have Bluetooth enabled. Because this lid is open, it's pretty much allowing Bluetooth connectivity. Now, it might not show up right away. And if it doesn't, what you want to do is locate the back of your AirPods Pro. Look for the circular icon here. Now you want to press and hold this circular thing. Keep on pressing and holding till you see this being pretty much a white light. You got to just keep on holding whether your PC is looking for any Bluetooth and this might take a moment so we're, keep, we're going to keep on holding it till we see a device pop up. And as you can see here, now the AirPods Pro just popped up here. Now we want to click on that and this time it's going to be connecting when we click on that. Now we're going to wait until the connection is successful. Now again, this may take a moment or so. And as you can see, once it's connected, it will say your device is ready to go, connected. And the thing we'll get is voice and music pretty much on any sort of audio that comes out will come through the headphones or the AirPods Pro here and we're ready to go. You can also disconnect if you don't want to connect again and once you're done just hit that done and now we are connected as you can see here. Now as we mentioned all of your audio that you usually get through your speaker of your PC will come through here once it's connected here. Things like music and voice will come through. However, there are features that will not come through such as Siri. So if you're speaking using Siri on your AirPods Pro, those aren't going to be recognized because it's the PC, it's running Windows and it's not running iOS. You're also not going to get things like customizing double tap on your AirPods Pro. You won't get automatic switching like if you're switching between different accounts or switching between an iPad and your MacBook, you won't have the same capability. You might have to actually manually connect each time if it's not being recognized right away. There's also other things like the battery. You won't be able to check the battery on your PC. It won't tell you the battery percentage like it does when you connect it to an iPhone or MacBook where it shows you the actual percentage of the actual case and the ear pods themselves. You won't also have in automatic ear detection. You won't have spatial audio and even transparency mode might not be available on the AirPods Pro here. So those are some of the features that won't be available just because it is an iOS and it's not supported here. So let's say you will want to disconnect your AirPods Pro. You don't want it to automatically connect. How can you remove your AirPods Pro? Simply click on this. Once you click on this, it will have the option to disconnect if you just want to disconnect one time and reconnect later. Or if you simply want to just forget the device so it never connects, just hit that remove option and it will 
say yes and it will completely remove it and next time you want to connect your AirPods Pro you'll have to go through the same process of adding the device. So hopefully this video is helpful and if this video is helpful please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.